Hello and welcome to JPL in 30, the highlight show for the Jamaica Premier League. It's the first show of the new year and we have a plethora of football coming your way. We get the ball rolling with some midweek fixtures that featured a couple of rescheduled games. First up, Tivoli Gardens and Montego Bay shrugged off the holiday festivities in another intense encounter, while Harborview entertained Waterhouse in an epic rivalry showdown. Here are the highlights. Beautiful scenes at the Anthony Spalling Sports Complex in the heart of Kingston in Jamaica. It's a new year, but the product continues, the games continue, the rivalry continues. Jamaica Premier League on your home of champions, Tivoli Gardens versus Montego Bay United. Full-time highlights, Tivoli Gardens, uh, they were on with a flurry in the first half. Barrington Price with that header. This attempt came from Renato Wellington, but didn't test the keeper. This free kick was met by Lima Luca Correa. That wasn't good, but that one was good. Alton Lewis with the delivery. The shot originally from Barrington Price was saved by Ferreira. And Adin Pinnacook was on hand for the second attempt. 1-0 for Tivoli in the 42nd minute. Tivoli would continue to push forward. And this shot was saved expertly by William Ferreira. Came from Kimali Smith, who had quite a few chances in the first half. Second half action. Tivoli trying to press the issue. That one was a dug out by Ferreira once more. Nikelia Fuller, they're the man for Tivoli doing the damage. But it would change. Brian Brown doing very well there to shield and to play through Shaquille West. And he gave that one on a platter to Nugent Hudson in the 57th minute. The substitute did come on and make a difference. And West, the player to watch for Montego Bay United, showing why he had that designation. 1 1 at that moment. Montego Bay United, they were turning things around. This shot came from Keena Simpson, and again, William Ferrer in goal for Montego Bay United. Proving equal to the task. Here's a delivery now to Brian Brown and the header beating Diego Houghton in goal for Tivoli Gardens. And it was the go-ahead goal. Ultimately, the winning goal for Tivoli Gardens for Montego Bay United, I beg your pardon. And Brian Brown with his third of the season had a lot to say. He had nothing to say, Diego Houghton. Anthony Nelson came on, forced the save out of Ferrer once more. But that's all she wrote. Christopher Mason, seen enough. The Anthony Spalding Sports Complex in St. Andrew, in the capital city of Kingston in Jamaica. That's the venue for this uh, epic encounter in the, the reign of Jamaica Premier League, Harborview versus Waterhouse. Waterhouse started well and they had that attempt from Brian early on. Denroy Samuel was alert to the danger. Fletcher was always coming in and showing his attacking prowess. Talbot there gave that one away to Christian and Javine Bryan perhaps should have done better. Perhaps should have gone to the left foot. Here they came again. Denardo Thomas with a shot was going wide the base of the replay but Samuel wouldn't have known and was forced to make the save they would continue to press Wood Waterhouse and Fletcher was alert to that defensive header gone bad from Harding and he slotted home in the 43rd minute Andre Fletcher he was really alive wire in the first half Waterhouse number 15 In the second half now, 
good work from Priestley. And Fagan with the slip past the trickle maker. And he finished beyond Kemar Foster well. The Hammer View number 34. A good finish once more. Kemar Foster planted. But he was able to flourish, was trickle maker. That was a one all at the moment. At that moment. But Javin Bryan sent that ball to Denada Thomas. And look at the burst of pace. He moved beyond Talbot, sent it across. And Javin Bryan with his right foot. Nine goals this season. After match week 13. And he's uh, the joint leading scorer now with Justin Dunn of Tivoli, who also has nine. Good finish. Good presence of mind to get it across from Donato Thomas. He really came alive, did Thomas, in the second half. Ahead of that, he really should have done much better with Donato Thomas. That was really on a platter, but he didn't make anything of it. And that was the end of the match. Waterhouse with two goals ahead of Harborview won. So Montego Bay come up with the goods to pip the high riding Tivoli Gardens while Waterhouse edged the stars of the East to pick up their fifth win of the campaign. We take our first break here on JPL in 30. Stay with us for more right after the break. Welcome back to JPL in 30. The second midweek encounter saw more goals starting with Arnett Gardens taking on Treasure Beach while Cavalier entertained Molines United. Let's pick up the action starting with the Arnett Treasure Beach clash. Beautiful shot off of Kingston and St. Andrew. It's the answer to the Spalding Sports Complex in the night. The lights are out and the crowd is definitely growing for this uh, Jamaica Premier League encounter between Arnett Gardens, uh, the home team, and uh, Treasure Beach. Kick off under the lights and Treasure Beach. They had their moments. Smith there with that attempt early. Went wide. Arnett Gardens uh, were not to be left behind. And Jaheim Thomas there getting that chance. And, uh, did breach the keeper and Neymard recovered well, blasted it away. This corner, Gerald Neal got beneath it, needed to be above it, headed it over the top. Shea Smith got engaged today and was trying to engage the goal as well. That one flashed wide. Second half action now, what a touch from Shea Smith. Look at this back heel, the delivery from James. The man returning with fury. Fabian Reed, 75 goals in his career in the JPL. His first of this season, a return from India with the same goal scoring prowess. That was the opening goal for Arnett Gardens. Yeah, it's that kind of afternoon. They will continue to push forward. Arnett Garns, Warner Brown doing well, bubbled pass. Fabian Reed with the assist as Kelsey, the substitute, was able to convert beyond the homes. Good work from Warner Brown, good flick on. The first touch wasn't the greatest, but he did manage to get the all important second touch into the back of the net. Two goals in the evening, under the lights, Arnett Garns. Another look at it. That shot from Herrera. 
straight to Asher Hutchinson in goal for Arnett Garns. And the Shane Nation saw enough of that one. Arnett Garns too. Treasure beats nil. Welcome back to the Anthony Spalding Sports Complex for Rain Effa Jamaica Premier League action on the home of champions. Of course, this is a home of Arnett Garns. But they play in the second of the double header against Treasure Beach. But before that, Malines United face last year's beaten finalist Cavalier. Afternoon kickoff in the sunshine of Kingston. And uh, they were really shining in getting attempts. Cavalier, that one from Shanil Thomas off the upright. They would continue to come forward. Here's Christopher. Ainsworth getting an opportunity and he fired, but Peter Harrison using his legs well. Another delivery, Delmara Calvin unable to get a firm contact to it. They were really wasteful in front of goal. This one came to Ainsworth, headed it directly in the hands of the competent Harrison. Here they were really playing around with it. Calvin to Ainsworth, to Irving, to the Advertisers board beyond the goal. The game would change though as Irving delivered a beautiful pass to Calvin and he slotted home his sixth of the season. The Caribbean national man from Antigua and Barbuda, Chalmaro, Chalmaro Calvin. That was uh, the only goal in the first half. Though there were some other opportunities, Chanil Thomas striking the ball to the chest of Peter Harrison. And here again, Ainsworth getting it across. Thomas on two attempts, unable to breach the goalkeeper. Had a smile about it. Not sure he should have been smiling, should have converted this one as well. Harrison did well. An opportunity, an odd one. Richard Gooden getting that ball from Harrison, forcing a save out of Jaden White in goal. Game would change again in the negative. A second yellow card for Jeremy Nelson, that time for a hand ball, and he was sent off. Beautiful delivery from the corner. King with the header, and a poor clearance from Peter Harrison back in the area. Dwayne Allen wasn't the best of strikes, but it did just enough to beat the goal line. His first of the season, Dwayne Allen, second of the game for Cavalier. This one came to Thomas and he delivered finally. His third of the season, Shanil Thomas who had such great form in the Caribbean Championships for Cavalier. Showing he has it in the Jamaica Premier League as well. Domination by Cavalier. So big wins for Arnett and Cavalier who continue to march up the league table. Much more action still to come from our Sunday fixture as we go to another break. Welcome back to JPL in 30. Our Sunday fixture punctuates this final segment as Cavalier hunt their fourth win in a row against Arnett Gardens. Welcome back to Sabina Park in Kingston, Jamaica. JPL action. Here at the Mecca of Cricket in Jamaica. Cavalier FC versus Arnett Gardens. And this is a rescheduled round seven matchup. Here's a quick lineup for Cavalier. Jaden White in goal, Giovanni Leng, Kyle Ming, Gadel Irving, Richard King, Adrian Reed, Dwayne Allen, Dwayne Atkinson, Orlando Russell. Here's the Arnett Garns lineup. 
Ashley Hutchinson in goal, Gerald Neal, Shane Watson, Philander Wing, Rashawn, a Rashawn Amos, Marlon Martin, Jamon Shepherd, Jane Thomas, Fabian Reed, Warner Brown, and Rashiki Kelson had a goal in the last encounter. Five o'clock kickoff in sunshine, and it started early. Kyle Ming getting on the end of a Dwayne Atkinson corner kick. And the header was on target after Hudson. Hutchinson couldn't do anything about that one. And Kyle Ming didn't have a lot to do on that one. Beautiful ball from Ainsworth. Taken down nicely from Atkinson. Slip pass from Allen. And he converted at the near post. His first of the season. Dwayne Atkinson returning on loan. Showing his value. Was in Iceland. But he's in Ireland now. Feeling Irie. This was the first half and Orlando Russell, what a strike. What a save though from Hutchinson. He took it down nicely. Here we get another chance. A header from Ainge. It was from Leng and then followed up by Ming. A double save from the goalkeeper. Warner Brown would get this chance straight to his former teammate at St. Andrew Technical, Jaden White. Ball lifted in the area. It fell to Kelson. His shot was staying easily handled. And this one was swung across with pace. And all he had to do was head it on target. But his positioning was poor, Fabian Reed. That one struck the upright. Certainly had the better of Jaden White. But the upright saved him on that occasion. Roshan Amos shown red for that coming together with Jalmara Calvin. It was a bit harsh from Adet Hamilton in my book. Here's long ball played forward. Philander Wings header was poor, but the first touch and the finish from Chanel Thomas was first grade. Here's another look at it. Got in the center and then went in the diagonal. Beating Hutchinson in goal. Waving the flag of Cavalier. It didn't make sense for Hutchinson. It made sense for him. Back-to-back -back goals for Chanel Thomas. Back-to-back -back wins for Cavalier. Three goals ahead of Arnett Gardens. Welcome back. You spent some time away from the Jamaica Premier League applying your trade in Iceland. Tell me what that was like, playing in another culture, in another climate for sure. Well, it was a difficult time me, um, in me um, in Iceland because it was so cool, I couldn't manage certain time. My totem was burst, um, busing, and it was just hard for me. But I still have to just keep training hard and just do what I have to do. And of course, you would have learned a lot. Um, how much does that mean now to come back to the Ch Jamaica Premier League from a different perspective and do what you did tonight, a goal and an assist in your first start back? Well, I'm feeling very great to know that from playing football, um, without playing football for three months and coming back now with a goal and assist, mentally ready for this one. So I've just come again and keep building on the tally, tally, tally and keep scoring. After being a headache for Annette Gardens in the first half, we saw 10 minutes into the second half you came off. Um, talk to me about that. Why was that? Was there an injury? Is there an injury? No, didn't fit in for now, so yeah, can't finish the game. But I was going on a far away, yeah, we get there and just say 100% ready. And what do you see from Cavalier so far this season? You coming back into the fold, do you think that this Cavalier team has what it takes and you have what it takes to go all the way? Well, as I say, uh, if we just keep trying, trying, fighting, fighting, not fully hundred, we know that we want to reach, we want to reach, because more we need to keep the ball and stop rushing the game. But as I say, we need to go back to the um, training ground and regroup and come back again. Yeah, we, we, we were very flat. Um, I didn't think we provided the weight that we, we, we should have provided to enable our midfielders um, to break down the Cavalier team. I think we were too narrow in term, um, when we, 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 were, we were in possession of the ball. Um, uh, they, they hit us in transition a couple of times um, and things just didn't go according to how, how we planned, how we discussed what we were going to do, you know. We just didn't execute um, and we have to give credit to, to, to Cavalier for the way they, they executed their game. 
when you look back at it and you think about how Cavalier positioned themselves, they look like they made some adjustments considering they're playing against you. Are you a little bit disappointed that your boys on the field of play didn't make those necessary adjustments? Because it's very unusual for Arnett Gans not to at least score. Yeah, um, we, we, it's something that we discuss. We, we, I figured how they were going to come up. But it's nothing, you know, I mean, and it's, we just didn't do what we were supposed to do. Simple, simple put, you know. We just we're too narrow in, in, in attack. Um, the one time we provide some width and play through the space, which which was something that we worked on and that we wanted to execute. We, we got opportunities to score, and we, we, we and we were all lucky too. We're just unfortunate that we couldn't score today. Um, things just didn't go away today, you know. We just have to bite it and and, and, and come back again, regroup, put ourselves. Um, the players get the players in, in a better mindset, recover, and, and get ready for the next one. And all is not lost. Of course, you still sit in the top six, fifth at the moment. Um, and with players coming back in as well, that must be an important thing. Marlon Martin was able to play today. So players recovering from injury. And you who were complaining about a pretty thin squad a week or so ago, you will be happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy that we're, we're getting back some of, um, some, some of the players. But um, still need some key players, man. Uh, <laughs> You know, and, and especially a player like um, like Philander wing back-to-back -back games. I mean, it, it's tough on him. He's just coming from an injury, but it just goes to show that, you know, depth in the defensive area. We, we just have to, to to see how best we can strengthen that. We, you know, we're missing Joel, we're missing DeAndre. It, it, it's tough, and um, but we're doing what we can do, and um, they are managing. Um, and we just have to to be a little bit smarter um, when we defend. You know. Uh, four clean sheets in a row, <laughs> and from that perspective, and Giovanni Link coming back, your usual defenders there, that must be a, a pleasing sight. Yes, but that is only after we went 10 matches without having a clean sheet. Um, we worked on it, and um, it's paying dividend for us. Players coming back in, doing busy Atkinson, as you could see, man of the match, a goal and an assist. Um, he's fit right back in. You were a bit worried when we spoke to you last time of, of, of how the players would come back into your system. Well, I, I, I think they would have put your, your worries to rest. Well, actually, you know, we did change the system today. <laughs> you know, we saw some things um, that we could exploit, and we, we, we changed the system.